Due to YouTube and the COPPA laws, if you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and we are back with part two. I did like a little intro video on what I'm doing, what the parameters was and all that kind of stuff. So I'll have that in the cards or description box below. Um, I'm using a Sweet Rush paper collection here. It's just a project pad. So you have 24 sheets. I'm limited, but... Um, as I said in the previous video, I'm going to add some of these um, cardstock warehouse papers into the mix as well. Um, if I need to, it's a small swap, so I probably won't need to use a whole bunch of the paper anyway. And then I have my um, solid white cardstock. So I'm going to start out with the clipboard first. And the paper that I chose... It's a pretty paper. It's this one. I absolutely love it. And I had a hard time picking out what what coordinating color that I would use. Um, I don't know what you guys will put. I'm going to put a little poll up. What paper would you use to go with this? I'm going to show you the options. There's pink. That's a perfect match. Bling, bling. Okay. We got this one or that first one was called Razzleberry. This one's called Chartreuse. And here we go. Nice coordination. And then we have Blue Raspberry. Another perfect option right there. And finally, we have Lemon Drop. Another perfect combination. So I was sitting here, I'm like, which one do I use? So I eliminated, although it's one of my favorite colors, I eliminated Chartreuse because it's a, t a tinge off. It matches that corner one up more so, but I mean, it would still go with this. So I eliminated Chartreuse. And then I was stuck with these three colors. And I'm like, okay, what am we trying to do? I go back to the paper collection, see what colors are mostly prominent in the paper collection. <clears throat> I could just use a solid card stock that's here, but I want my clipboard to be sturdy. These papers aren't as sturdy as I'd like it to be for my clipboard. So I'm using these. So I'm like, okay, well, there's a lot of pink in here, but then again, there's a lot of yellow. And then they go, you know, but there's a lot of pink, but yellow would pop. So I, my husband came down. I was like, which one would you pick? And he did his little assessment. So the ones we had in common was yellow because he picked yellow and the blue raspberry. And I said yellow or razzleberry. So, oh, guys, what do you think? Answer the poll question and let me know. Um, and I'm still sitting on the fence. But right now, I have like another few minutes before I have to decide so uh, I'm going to get my chipboard ready to go. So I know that the parameters for the clipboard was four, three by four uh, up into five by seven. So I chose the largest one to go with that would allow me the most room. <clears throat> so I'm going to cut this down to five by seven. Okay. So now we're at that point and I wish I could do the poll and come back, but I can't. All right, guys, while I continue to think about what paper choice I'm going to make, I'm going to talk about the Craft My Stash virtual crop that is being hosted by myself and Natasha at Polite Creations. Go ahead and get your tickets now because we're going to have fun. There are plenty of giveaways during the entire crop and a, a giveaway right after. So be sure to check the link down below in the description box for all the information and get your ticket now. I'm going to go with the Raspberry. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go with the lemon because the back will have my information on it. So I'm going to print off my little thing and put it and print it on the yellow. And hey, it's a win-win, right? Oh, uh, that's what I'm calling it. Okay, get some double-sided tape going here. <laughs> Sequence sticking to everything. I need to find my large, like one inch, one and a half inch, somewhere around there, double sided tape. I have these smaller ones always handy because I'm usually doing smaller projects, but believe you me, 
that one, one and a quarter, one and a half inch tape comes in real handy for projects like this. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna grab this. Make sure this is on there. And then take off all of the tape. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of wet glue. I want to make sure this stay, stay. Okay. And I'm just going to gently fold over my corners. <clears throat> like so. And give them a nice miter. And then I'm also going to cut it down a little smidge. You don't need all the extra. That's what we should have. Almost like covering a mini album. And then I'll add paper, um, paper tape to the sides. Here we go. There's your nice back. And this is the front. I'm gonna grab another piece of raspberry and then cut it down to five by seven. Fits nicely, perfect. And then I'm going to add it to the top of that. All right, really cool. All right, so this is the inside. I'm gonna use that gorgeous paper. I'm going to have it go that way. And I'm going to cut it down a little bit smaller than five by seven. It's perfect at an eighth of an inch. I love it. So what I'm going to do with this is, um, you know, I get this way better. I'm going to stitch around here in gold, and then I'm going to prepare my, my lemon drop and get this prepared for the back as well. All right, all of my pieces are done. I did some stitching across here, and this is my information piece, which is gonna go on the back. So cute. It just has mini clipboard swap, swap bot, ho uh, hosted by Bonetta, created by me, then my YouTube, Instagram, and then the date. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue to the back of this and put it on the clipboard base. Printed it out on this nice, pretty green that coordinates with the rest of the paper. I wanna use my jelly roll pen to kind of go on the outside, just to add some stitching to this all the way around. That's cute, <laughs> cute. And then I'm gonna add this to the inside here. That is so cute. Yes, yeah, so you got layer upon layer upon layer. She thick. I think that's adorable. All right, now we got to get down to the clip piece we're going to use. And these came from Daiso. So I will probably use this heart one. Okay. This is what we got. This is just too small. I mean, seriously, what is that going to hold? I need to put like a row of them and we can rule this out. So we're left with this one, which I like, but it's silver. This is kind of small too. No, but it's, it'll work. It's kind of small, but, but it'll work. Let's go with this one. Ah. Because what I'm thinking of hanging on here, it's got to be able to just, but this will hold though. I don't know. Let me check Amazon real quick. Okay, I found some. Um, I'll link them down below. They were $7.99, but you got 10 and they're two inches. So this is one inch. So it's twice, twice the amount. So that'll look That'll look better. So for now, we're gonna use this one because it looks cool, but I mean, it's not really the 
clipboard effect that I think the hostess was going for. So I want to follow the rules. So anyway, I'll have more for some later for another clipboard. But for now, that's what we're going to use to hold everything together. That's cute. Okay, so I guess now, um, and I don't want this video to be super, super long. I guess we can make the sequin mix. That's one of the requirements of the swap and then package that up. go over go on and take it uh to the sewing machine and i'll sew on three sides and then fill it and close it up so i'll be back i filled this thing to the max as far as i'm gonna scoop all this right back in here <laughs> fill this thing to the max until i couldn't you know to the point where i was like squeezing it in there to even um stitch it close so i stitched it twice but oh yeah she is full this is a lot she'll have a she will have a good time playing around with this sequin mix it is so so pretty so the sequin mix is done the discreet and then i'm gonna put the rest of it in a little bag because i'm known for <laughs> Spilling. So I'm going to, I'm just going to clip this up here for now, but I'm going to add like a tab or something so that that can stay. I don't know where this will be at on the spectrum of the um, clip, clip, what is this, clipboard swap, <laughs> but it'll, it's going to be on here. So um, that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully We'll get this in pretty soon. No, we won't. It's going to be a couple days before that comes in. So I'm going to work on the next thing, though. See you guys later. If you have a moment, please like the button. Like the like button. Hit the like button. And leave a comment. And let me know what you guys think. All right. Bye.